So when I talk about the algorithm, I'm talking about this sort of almost magical black box of code. And the idea is that you set up this, this black box and then you provide it with a list of human curated examples. And it works out their distinguishing features, provides some sort of categorization system. And then as you throw novel examples at it, it categorizes them and learns from feedback. And those distinguishing features may be completely novel or completely unknown to humans. So one of Google's uh, recent AI projects was looking at retinal photography. And this recent paper claims that with, uh, all, with uncanny accuracy, it was able to look at retinal photos and work out uh, gender, uh, with sex, with 97% accuracy, age within four years, and better than chance at smoking status, uh, blood pressure, major adverse cardiac events. Eye doctors now cannot detect any of those things themselves. They're not really sure how the machine did it. Now, it's right to be skeptical of some of those claims. Maybe there's a difference in the metadata. Uh, maybe the retinal photography machine, I guess that's technically a camera, uh, is set up or focused differently depending on some of those attributes. But the paper does a pretty good job of covering their bases there. And maybe a human could also be trained to pick out those differences. It's just that nobody's bothered when you can just look at the chart next to the patient. <laughs>